Have you ever considered bats, birds, or turtles, or even salamanders as residents of your community? It's probably not that often that we as humans think of animals as community members or neighbors, even though they often do live alongside us. In fact, when we do think of animals, it's usually the flagship species that first come to mind. For example, the bald eagle as a symbol of the United States, or the polar bear as representative of the urgency of climate change. However, the species that are our neighbors often go underrecognized and are underrepresented, even though they are important and even critical to our ecosystems. These species, which I'm calling middle species, in a reflection on the theme of new middles, are in fact embedded and common in our neighborhoods. They contribute significantly to the health of our cities, yet often remain invisible in our imaginations of where we live. Through our project for Exhibit Columbus, we'd like to invite you to consider the world through the perspective of the animals that live among us in our urban environments. In our proposal, we're developing a series of structures to enhance habitat conditions for urban wildlife in Columbus. With our site in Mill Race Park, adjacent to the Flat Rock River, the Observation Tower, and the Columbus People Trail, we are excited about the possibility of providing habitat for aerial, terrestrial, and even amphibious animals given the potential for flooding in the area. The design concept is to develop the installation as a series of elevational strata with bat and bird habitat conditions above and environments for terrestrial and amphibious species below. At higher elevations, we are developing structures that function essentially like rocket box bat houses. The rocket box is a typical type of bat house, telescoping in spaces, that is known to be used by the endangered Indiana bat, which is one of 13 bat species in Indiana. We are also planning to create a series of perches and possible nesting sites for birds using Indiana hardwoods. At the ground level, we are using local boulders to create a series of gabion-like mounds, which can serve to provide shelter for smaller terrestrial or amphibious animals. Some of these structures will include benches and boulders for seating as well, for human visitors to stop and take a break while walking in the park or to just enjoy the day. In addition to providing animal habitat conditions, we're also interested in bringing an increased presence and visibility to these middle species neighbors. We're looking to develop ways to shift human perception to sense the less visible world of urban animals and to hopefully make their presence part of the way that we experience Columbus.
We're inspired by examples through arts and culture that help create a more visceral experience of understanding these animals. For example, I'm struck by the work of Indiana native musician Stuart Hyatt, particularly his album Ultrasonic, in which he and his collaborators draw listeners in to hear echolocation sounds of bats as a form of music. I'm stunned by how this music brings lyrical presence to something that we humans cannot typically sense. In our project for Exhibit Columbus, we're inspired to tap into the sense of sound and bat echolocation by including ultrasonic bat detectors as part of the installation. The detectors will be triggered by bat calls and will be recording their high frequency sounds throughout the exhibition period. We will be collecting these recordings and making them available online, which will be accessed through QR codes that will be part of the installation. So as a visitor to the park, you can put on your headphones, link to a website, and listen to bat calls from previous nights. I had the pleasure of visiting Columbus this past September, and in my evening and nighttime walks with ultrasonic detectors, I was able to pick up quite a lot of bat activity all throughout the city, and so I'm really looking forward to seeing what we will be able to collect and learn from the recordings over the duration of the exhibition. Our installation will also feature QR codes that will link to research projects that are currently being developed in my graduate architecture studio. Through the students' work, you will be able to see and hear explorations of Columbus from the point of view of bats, birds, squirrels, rabbits, foxes, and other local animals. We are excited to be developing a project for middle species with love. We hope that our project will contribute to the ongoing work in Columbus by community members and organizations like Friends of Pollinator Parks to enhance biodiversity in the city and to further the work of restoring river ecologies and imagining the riverfront as a public place for humans and non-humans to enjoy.